studio of on TV and radio so ladies and gentlemen I would like to welcome everyone who is going to be with me in this bookstore show as usual so for today I'm with the topic where we are going to talk more about understand device experience you may ask yourself why did I choose this topic but the truth is that I need you to know the more about experience vice or understand what do we need more which is important more than other. Why this? Why we need, why we really need to know about these terms? We really need to know about this because when you know something, you do it well. So you may be with me in the bookstore, you may take your time to be with me while you don't know uh, what about understand, what about experience, whether you have knowledge from understand, whether you have experience from where from your work from what you're going through things like that so first of all understand is what when you listen this uh, term understand what do you get through it understand is a perceived intended meaning of words languages or speakers so to mean from understand you get uh, you get knowledge and skills where um, when you listen, when you're being taught by teachers or your mentor or your, your one who is responsible for teaching you, exactly you get what we call understand. You get knowledge from that understanding. So then between of understand and experience, what is coming before? What do we have to be with before? Which, which comes the last? Which is coming at the last time? As I'm telling you that knowledge comes from understanding, but also where does experience come from? Mm -hmm. Did you know it? Do you know where experience comes from? If you know, you may go in the comment and write down what idea you have about experience, where it comes from. Then experience, this is um, experience, this is a, uh, a fact or state of having, having, um, having, a, like it's a, a way where you have experience, where you have uh, going through something, you have some notion of, you have some knowledge about doing something. This is what we call experience. You can do something well and do it in the in the good position because you have experience. Mm -hmm. So where does experience come from? Experience comes from knowledge. So when when you have knowledge from understanding, you, you do well what you are going to do. And when you have experience, you do what? You use that knowledge you, you, you get from understanding in order to put to your practice well. So uh, the knowledge is important than, uh, is important than uh, experience why because you can't have experience of what you didn't understand but you can have also ex uh, also understanding of what you didn't experience it because experience comes from what you went to love what you have did or whom you met with things like that but understanding comes from uh, which you have taught what you have listened things like that also so guys uh, why do we need to know there's a terms as I asked you before. When you understand, you get knowledge, as I said. But when you experience, you get lesson from that something which makes, which gave you experience. That's why when you have experience, you become a strong person. Because you, you go, you went through for the strong things which makes you hurt, which uh, hurt your heart, which harmed you. That's why when you have experience, you become a strong one, and you get testimony for thing uh, that there's a people who didn't go through this, or uh, there's things gave you experience. That's why when you have experience, you become the man like that. You become a man. Whether you experience the bad things or the good things, but you experienced it. Then. When you understand and you don't practice, there's a, there's a knowledge, there's a skills becomes information. And the information get uh, useful when you use it. So guys, what do we need both 
or between of uh, understanding or experience, what do we need? For sure, as I found, we need both understanding and experience. Why? Because when you have knowledge and you don't practice, that knowledge becomes useless. That's why you have to practice what you have taught, what you have listened, and then you get experience. But what happens when you have experience without knowledge? Of course, can you imagine how someone gets experience from, from nowhere, from no, no, to, no teacher, from no someone who tells, who told him about that? That's why we need both knowledge first, then we practice in order to get in order to get experience. So you may now follow me while you don't know uh, how can you use your, uh, your knowledge. So as long as you stay without using it, without practice that knowledge you got, as, it's, uh, as long as you get nothing. That's why if you he listen to me, you have knowledge, you have skills from teachers, from other people who, um, who trained you, but you do you are not you are there sitting doing nothing you are not you practice that knowledge for sure you have nothing but if you are there you practice you practice day to day you find your different jobs that's will makes you being strong and being experienced from that job from that knowledge and another time you will show you will you will teach others to do these things you are doing now that's why when you go even, let me give you some example. For instance, when you go to interview or when you are uh, uh, up, um, applying for a job, they ask you, which experience do you have? How many years did you work or this work? This job you are asking for? Things like that, because they know that as long as you get the experience of something, of doing something, as long as you become intellectual, as long as you become um, like uh, clever in that work, as long as you become braver, as long as you become intellectual in that work, and you did it well. So that's why, for sure, what we need, we need to use our knowledge, our skills. Whether it comes from schools, from uh, anywhere, from trainings, anywhere, but please try, try to practice it in order to get experience the more you experience it the more you understand it right because when you do something you exactly understand it if you do something today and you do it in the bad ways like trying like you are not in structure in it but tomorrow you will repeat it and tomorrow 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 as long as you practice it as long as you get experience from that thing and another day you will be experiential one you will be uh, an expert, let me say like that. You will be an expert in that thing. So as long as you become an expert, as long as you get opportunity of getting a job about that thing, you experience it. So that's why, let me tell you this quote, as long as you experience it, as long as you understand it. And when you are doing the things which you understand, you get, uh, you get opportunity, you get uh, more chance, you get uh, more salaries, you get, more money, you get everything which is going to be well because you do what you understand. You can't do it with a fear. You can't do it with um, like with no power. You become strong in that thing. You experience it. So, guys, I want you who is following me in the bookstore exactly, especially, please make sure you use your knowledge in order to get experience because. When you sit there and doing nothing, you are not. You, for instance, you started uh, to. You, you started like com video production. Let me say like that. Someone who started the video production, when he got there and bought, for instance, come, come and come there and go sit at home. He can't go around and the, uh, and the picture some videos and. He's there doing nothing. He can't go around. He can't find the more information about video production. At the time when they gave you job of making of product, product make of making a video production, you will get nothing. You will lose that job because you don't have experience. F you have knowledge about it, but you didn't experience it. 
are we together? So as long as you don't experience something, that knowledge will be useless. So in order to make the knowledge useful, it will require you to work. It will require you to practice, to practice what you get, what you listened. If someone, for instance, if someone uh, stop you, if someone tell you that stop doing this, stop doing this, you may do this, you may do this, and you you go there, you don't you don't follow the advice you given by someone, you go there by sitting. Let me wait for what time will brings. So you know what will happen to you. You will not get a change. You will stay with that one. You will stay with you. No change for you, because you didn't follow the advice. The same like when you don't practice your knowledge. So guys, I don't need to talk more about this, but what I want to tell you is that please, please practice what you got in order to get experience, because we need to be expert person, expert of people, so guys. You may follow me while you have an idea or a question you have to ask us and uh, you have um, something which can be like support for us where you don't have, how can you go, how can you reach to us? Guys, that's why the comment is there. You may go there and write down what you wish for us, what your issues, what question, what support, which can you give us? Go and write down what you want for us. And we are here for you guys, especially bookstore. I'm here for you. I will read what you gave me, any book, anything, any story, anything you want for us, we are here for you guys. Uh, make sure you follow me while you follow us on uh, social medias. And uh, please make sure you follow us. Make sure that you subscribed you give us like, you give us share, like, and comment. So guys, this was Bookstore Show 2 on TTV. Let's meet next day. Ciao. On TTV.